Hello crafters, this is Miss Sarah and we are going to, this is one part of our three part crafts for today. Uh, one video is fairy wings, one video is flower crowns, and this video is for um, fairy wands. These are going to be a little bit different than Harry Potter wands and I'm going to challenge you to make it as all natural as you can. Now what does that mean Miss Sarah? Fairies are found in nature. They are nature based and they would make their wands out of what they know. So visit your yard, uh, go for a walk, uh, see what you can find and scavenge and see what you can uh, come up with to make an all natural wand like we're going to be doing here. Now, mo because of that challenge, most of these items will not be found in your craft kits if you've uh, put one of those on hold. However, you there is ribbon in there, there is washi tape, in there and if you didn't use them up completely with your dragon eye craft you have glass beads or if you didn't paint all your rocks you might have some pebbles and rocks in there as well left over from miss lauren's crafts last week but i'm going um to make this as natural as i can now uh my wand, my base of my wand, is a holly twig. I just, I've gotten it off of the trees uh, here near the library. I also have some grass fronds and a little bit of uh, copper colored plastic wire. You could certain, and I have also picked some flowers. Now I picked these yesterday and dried them so they're um, not fresh. They've just sat out and have dried. So you can kind of see possibly the um, blossoms that I have all over the table over here. Um, but I have cleaned the holly leaves off and trimmed up the edges to the right length. It is about the length of my forearm to the middle of my hand. Um, I just kind of did a swish and flick to see what kind of length I wanted. Uh, it was actually probably about another six or so inches longer, but I just trimmed them off. If you get a long twig or you might want to do some trimming, have it in an adult do that is my suggestion with scissors or clippers. And then all I've done is I'm gonna make a little bit of a grip down here. So I have tied or wound rather one of those fronds on the bottom. Now I am going to do a little bit more. The great and of this because I want it just a little bit higher now you could do like I said you could make beads pony beads work really well with the twigs because they're about the same width. 
Now I'm keeping this pinched because um, I need to keep it on there. And hopefully this is going, my hopefully my plan will work. Now all I'm going to do is take the wire and kind of wind it around to keep that um, frond on there. I'm going to trim this part off and then I'm going just to keep winding it here so I have a little bit of a uh, thumb like thumb grip so if I'm using it it doesn't slip off my hand these are the type of tools you if you're using and an adult needs to use them um, makes cutting wire very easy though and you always make sure you lock them. So there is my handle. Now, what I should have done was that. Hmm. So, and actually, I'm going to use, I'm going to use these again, actually. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the rest of this wire here. And I'm going to make my flower here the point of my wand. So the flower will be casting the magic. You can you let your imagination run wild. Whatever inspires you, um, whatever you want to create is how you can make your wand. And so I'm going to put those on there. I'm actually going to start it at the top end. My plan isn't going to work, guys. So. Now, holly leaves are a little bit sharp. So that's why I'm not using them. But my hope is to kind of do the same. Oh, that's what I can do. <gasps> yeah. And I am going, what I'm doing is I'm wrapping that 
with the wire around that. I'm going to put this one right there. I'm going to trim that. I'm going I'm going to trim the stem of the first flower off here. I'm going to put the second flower on here. And get it wrapped. And I'm going to end it. with the other black eyed Susan here. And then I'm going to wrap it a few times. Trim it. Push it down. And then I'm also going to trim that bit off. And you have my fairy wand. So we have a decorated point, a plain center part, and then we have a decorated comfortable cushy grip that also has something to grip on to for me to hold but you can do this however you would like so thanks for stopping by I hope you watch the other two videos for today and continue to watch these for the next several weeks we have just a few more to go thank you very much see you again soon